In addition to the shiitake mushroom project, which was featured in the November 8th Finger Lakes Times, the next few slides should provide a few highlights from the agriculture program. The Finger Lakes Beverage Conference held virtually with attendance from within the Finger Lakes region as well as from across New York and other states including Virginia, California, and Washington. Thanks to Three Brothers Estate Winery and Warhorse Brewing for the virtual tasting of their cider and beer each night following the program. Planning is underway to host the 2022 Finger Lakes BevCon at Del Lago Resort and Casino April 27th and 28th. We also highlighted Seneca County Agriculture Products at the Seneca County Fairs Celebrate Seneca County Ag Night, held in partnership with the Chamber of Commerce's Business After Hours. We restructured the evening to accommodate COVID-19 guidance and actually reach capacity. Special thanks to Chef John McNabb from Knapp's a state winery and restaurant for the exceptional tasting of local foods, and to Catherine Chase, Executive Director of the Cougal Lake Wine Trail, for assisting with the wine pairing. Also, representatives from the three regional ag teams were in attendance and were instrumental in explaining the importance of agriculture in Seneca County. In July, during Seneca County CCE Day at the Waterloo Farmers Market, we featured Seneca County root beer floats using root beer from Fleur de Lee Brew Works and vanilla ice cream from Cuga Lake Creamery. These were a great hit on a warm summer day, and many were surprised to learn that root beer is actually brewed and that it's brewed locally by three different Seneca County breweries. We also hosted Pumpkin Day for the close of each of the three farmers markets, featuring two types of pumpkins. The Long Island Cheese Pumpkin, which is a pie pumpkin, and was used to make pumpkin muffins. The pumpkins were made fresh thanks to the nutrition program and were sampled at each market, plus 200 decorative snowball pumpkins were also given out. Hi, this is Mo, and I'm joined by Candace Ine Bing to give you an update of the Food and Family Department here for 2021. As you know, we started out the year with a lot of virtual education and information for people that can be found on our website and our Facebook pages, both the Farmer School and the Wild Harvest Table Facebook pages, um, including a Growing Sprouts workshop, and all those resources can be found on our website. For the Wild Harvest Table, we were able to update lots of recipes and resources for those in the community that hunt and fish. And we partnered with Cornell's Department of Natural Resources and the Environment to create a camp cooking booklet for wild game and fish. And that came out in time for the summer season where people do a lot of camping and getting outdoors. And then um, towards the fall, we were able to do in-person workshops as well, including um, one with New York's Becoming an Outdoors Woman. For the summer, we were really excited to be able to do some in-person workshops and lessons at the Farmer's Market through the Farmer's Market Nutrition Program. We do receive some grant funding to offer those lessons, and we also partnered with uh, Wayne County CCE to help them at a, at a state level to administer that Farmer's Market Nutrition Program. Uh, a lot of those recipes can be found on our website as well. And a really exciting opportunity that came around a, a little bit unexpectedly for the county was the Creating Healthy Schools and Communities Grant. We applied for this um, way before COVID, almost three years ago, but we were awarded it for Seneca County. It's highly competitive and it's $1.5 million for the next five years to really create some effective change on wellness through nutrition strategies and physical activity strategies to help keep people moving more, including walkability in the communities um, and worksite wellness. So lots more to come on that, uh, stay tuned. And we wrapped up our USDA Farm to School grant in June of this year. And that was a partnership between Wayne Finger Lakes BOCES and us um, that uh, 
uh, served the Seneca County Schools and uh, Wayne County Schools, Ontario County and Yates County Schools. We did some training videos. We actually went to the farms and then um, we had a chef at the Culinary Center at Wayne Finger Lakes Boses show people how to create a healthy kale and apple salad recipe and a smashed potato salad, it's not salad, it's just a smashed potato recipe. And then we, um, we're able to bring that full circle by taking Waterloo and Seneca Falls food service staff um, to that same culinary kitchen to uh, watch the videos and then do the hands-on prep of those recipes and go on a great farm tour at Red Jacket Orchards, um, which was a lot of fun. And it was just great to see that those training videos were, were used in the way that they were intended to be so that the food service workers were excited about learning these new recipes and serving them to the kids back in their school districts and in the cafeterias. And I'm gonna turn it over to Candace now to talk a little bit more about other farm to school activities. For farm to school, we work all year long with those food service uh, staff to provide a New York Harvest of the Month. And each month we feature a new product and we share nutrition information and photos of the New York meals on our social media um, to give kudos to the schools and share with families the healthy choices that are on the menus. For farm to school home garden kits for the second year in a row, we offered these in the spring and families registered through their school so we could follow up with educational materials. Um, we held a gardening and a recipe photo contest um, in July and August and our winners were given prizes to continue gardening and cooking at home as well as farmers market gift cards to buy more fruits and veggies. And Ebing um, did her research project on this for community nutrition and she would like to share some more details and results. Yes, we're hoping to use a pilot research study to find out more about the experiences of the participating families, which we did receive some good feedback and the majority of the families had a positive attitude towards the farm to school program and enjoyed using the garden kits that we provided. Um, at the start of the school year, we've had a busy year already for farm to school and lessons in the classroom. We've done library lessons, classroom lessons, school gardening and harvesting for the cafeteria. And Mo and I were on a farm to school team for South Seneca through the Finest Institute. And they have made great progress with a gardening class and after school homesteading class and getting grow towers and then planning for community involvement through the Ovid Community Garden and their local library. For Water, Waterloo After School is new this year. Um, we work with Scoyers and Lafayette and Nutrition, 4-H and Farm to School are working together to provide lessons through the CHIP curriculum, egg in the classroom lessons, some SNAP ed nutrition education, and we provide samples and healthy snacks at each lesson. And a lot of the kids are sharing with their siblings at home if they're in different after school groups and parents are often coming in to see what they are doing next. And we want to say thank you to E. Bing for being our dietetic intern these past few months. And she has helped a lot to teach lessons at Office of the Aging and in the class and at the library programs and Head Start. And she has also um, helped work on recipes for the Wild Harvest Table and helped us um, with pictures during our lessons and everything that is on our presentation here today. So thank you, E. Bing. And thanks so much everyone for tuning in tonight and make sure you check out our Facebook and website for more information. Good night.
the Master Gardener and Horticultural Programming area were limited with their in-person programming this year, but the Master Gardener volunteers did some drive-through programs and some continuing education field trips. But their biggest contribution was helping to answer all the many gardening and landscape questions we received throughout the year, as gardening and home and landscape were again a big part of people's lives. The Master Gardeners often partner with local libraries, and the Inner Lake and Public Library held a Let's Talk Gardening Zoom in February, where 19 people signed in and had Master Gardeners available to answer their questions. Another way that we've partnered with the libraries is that each library will put up a display with some fact sheets and free seeds for people to take when they visit the library. We once again put together gardening kits that were not only used for the Farm to School program, but were also used to take to each library so that they could give them to their patrons and spread the seeds throughout the community. The Master Gardeners were unable to hold their spring plant swap in 2020, so for 2021 decided to do a drive through event. We had 30 people, which was our maximum, sign up to receive five or six free plants and a lot of garden seeds to take home and plant. There are a few community gardens in our area, and our Master Gardeners are liaisons with two of them, one in Border City and one in Ovid. They help the people who reserve beds and answer questions and are just there for support. Another big part of the Horticulture and Master Gardening program is answering questions from the public about their gardens and home landscapes. We had many questions this year. A lot of them dealt with insect and disease damage on their plants and we were able to help many many people throughout the growing season to make their gardens healthier. Seneca County CCE was once again a support for all three markets in our county. We help administer the SNAP EBT program and also the FMNP or Farmers Market Nutrition program which is for seniors and WIC recipient. The Ovid Farmers Market, the Seneca Falls Farmers Market, and the Waterloo Rotary Farm Market can all issue EBT, SNAP, and FMMP coupons so that the customers can buy fresh local produce and the vendors can benefit from increased sales. All three Seneca County markets had quite a successful season. They all opened in June and ran through October. We're looking forward to great things in 2022 for them. Our drive through greens workshop was such a success last year that we repeated it in 2021. The picture on your left shows what an actual person received and the right is one of their finished products. So I think they did a pretty good job with our instructional videos and the items we gave them. Our Master Gardener volunteers are what makes our program so successful here at CCE. On the left, you'll see them at a workshop that they attended at Gordlandia. And on the right, they are shown with the beautiful bouquets they made for Celebrate Seneca County Ag Night. Seneca County Cornell Capital Extension 4 H Youth Development yet again pivoted for the year of 2021. Our program is made possible for by our 4 H Youth Development staff. In particular, I'd like to thank Robin Houseworth, our 4 H after school educator who has really made a lot of modifications to her programs and stepped outside of her comfort zone. Really impressed with her work this year. We'd also like to thank our 4-H educator, Nate Kennedy, who left his position in June of this year to move up north and take another position. 
Uh, we miss him very much, and he was a great asset to us while he was with Seneca County CCE. Our program is also not possible without all our additional Cornell Cooperative Extension Seneca County staff who deliver and incorporate programming for youth in their own program areas. We'd also like to thank all of our volunteers and 4-H members for all of their hard work throughout this year. We made some changes to the way that we deliver our typical public presentation programs this year. We did hold our Produced in New York State and our public presentation program. We just changed things a little by offering different ways that people could participate in these programs. We're very proud of all the youth who participated in Produced in New York and all of the youth who participated in public presentations. We actually had two youth who participated in public presentations at the district level which was offered both virtually and in person simultaneously. Hi, my name is Robin. I work with the Cornell Cooperative Extension of Seneca County. My primary role is that of an after-school educator with the 4-H Youth Development Program. The South Seneca School District is the facility that I do most of my programming. However, with the pandemic, the CCE and the 4-H Association took on the challenge and persevered to provide activities to students and the 4-H members. We use the Zoom platform to interact and encourage the students to do hands-on activities. The 4-H staff made kits up in advance to send home on the school bus or we delivered them right to the students' homes. It was a different type of hands-on experience but it seemed to work for the students. We held sessions for close to 90 minutes during the week for different grade levels. We had five to 10 students depending on schedules and life in general. We created activities that incorporated the environment, science, creativity, and overall fun. We made recycled paper bag journals, magic flowers, Mars rovers, and other activities that would hopefully spark an interest in the youth and their ideas for the future. The CCE and the 4-H were able to continue quality programs for the youth in the community, meeting all aspects of the 4-H, head, heart, hands, and health. One of the other ways that we made some modifications to our program delivery this year were by delivering our annual Agriculture in the Classroom book, this year's theme, Chuck's Ice Cream Wish, Tales of a Dairy Godmother, at local libraries. We really had great opportunities to partner with our Seneca County libraries this year. And we were really pleased to be able to read the book, share the book, and um, do the ice cream making activity with many youth that we wouldn't normally see in this setting. Additionally, at libraries, we got to deliver some other programs which were so exciting. Uh, we loved our Perfect Pollinators program and so did the youth. We had some nice, fun, hands-on, active activities to kind of really get the idea driven home about the real importance of pollinators in our food cycle. Our Choose Health Food Fun and Fitness program has been delivered in a number of ways. One thing we were able to do was to also offer virtual Choose Health Food Fun and Fitness classes with materials that meant um, materials for preparing foods as well as the ingredients for the activities for each of our lessons. And this was another way that we reached youth from multiple counties and we're really excited to be able to see how much they loved cooking together even in the virtual world. Our monthly Try It Tuesdays were delivered throughout the year in a virtual format. We were really excited to be able to provide hands-on learning kits ahead of time to the youth who registered. And we really reached um, many, many youth from actually across the um, area, not just in Seneca County, by be being able to deliver our programs this way. Although our Seneca County Fair participation included fewer youth this year, the youth who participated and the volunteers who participated in this year's fair were extremely active, very involved, 
We're grateful for all that they did to showcase what they've learned over the course of this year. To round out the summer, we held some additional forage programming at local libraries. Um, one, we were very happy to highlight our own Robin Houseworth and her family's Cabin View Alpacas Farm at one of our local libraries. We also had the great pleasure of hosting forage youth development programs at our local farmers markets this year. We were um, present at the youth tent at the Waterloo Farmers Market several times throughout the summer, as well as we had an opportunity to highlight some youth programming at the Ovid Farmers Market as well. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. One last pivot we made was to the way that we fundraise in our forage youth development program. We typically hold a couple of really well attended dairy bars in the summer. This year we had to make some changes to what we did and we were very pleased to be able to partner with our other Seneca County Cornell Cooperative Extension program areas to hold several chicken barbecue fundraisers. Thank you to all who supported those fundraisers. They'll make a difference for all of the youth of Seneca County throughout this new year. <laughs>